stuff. Hey everyone, welcome to another review. Here's my review for the movie Mother. Yes, Mother stars Jennifer Lawrence, Javier Bardem, Michelle Pfeiffer, and Dumbum Gleason. And this movie is written and directed by Darren Aronofsky. You all should know Darren Aronofsky. Yes, this is a filmmaker who's made such films as Requiem for a Dream, The Wrestler, Black Swan, and stuff. And yeah. He's got a new movie out, he's got a new movie out, and yeah, I didn't know what kind of Darren Aronofsky film I was gonna, you know, get from the trailers, so I'm like, okay, if we're gonna get a fucked up Darren Aronofsky, I didn't know if we're gonna get, like, a, a wrestler of Darren Aronofsky, or are we getting a Requiem for a Dream sort of Darren Aronofsky movie? We're getting a Requiem for a Dream sort of Darren Aronofsky movie with this one, yeah. The story of Mother, I don't know how to talk about this movie without spoiling it, basically it's about a couple... And these group of strangers, well, sort of strangers, come into their lives, and they basically, you know, make them question reality and stuff, and this movie is focused mostly on love and relationships, but also sacrifice, and that's all I can say. I can't really say anything, like, the trailers are so vague, and I have to be vague in my description of the plot, because... I can't spoil anything, because the shit goes down in the third act of this movie, and I can't say a single thing that happens, because it ruins the whole experience of the film. But yeah, this is a weird, twisted, dark, crazy film, and yeah, it's really good in a lot of moments, kind of painful to sit through in other moments, and yeah, it's just a weird film, this movie, Mother, and yeah. If you're a Darren Dar Aronofsky fan, fan if, you're, if you're a fan of his work, I think you'll absolutely love this film. If you're very mixed with his work, then I don't know. You might like it, you might not. I am very mixed when it comes to Darren Aronofsky. Even though I know some of his films are really great, but I just can't get into them. Like, Record for a Dream is a great film, but I can't get into it because it's just so distasteful and so disgusting and so off-putting. I kind of feel the same thing with this movie, Mother, and yeah, I think this is going to be a very mixed-reviewed sort of film. I think critics will majority like it, but I think a lot of people will not like it. Kind of like It Comes Out at, it comes at Night. I actually really loved It Comes at Night, but a lot of people did not like that film, and it's going to be the same with this movie, Mother, and I can see through both sides of people hating it and really liking it. Some people will actually despise this film, and I can see why, but... I liked it for what it was, but I didn't love it. I didn't expect to love it, but I... I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard to talk about. A lot of my flaws with this movie, I would have to spoil the movie, and I can't do that. So, I'll just mostly talk about the good stuff. The good stuff is the direction. Darren Aronofsky knows what he's doing. He's a good filmmaker. He knows how to make things very surreal and uncomfortable and dark. He's very David Lynch when he crafts his films. And it felt like I was watching either a Twin Peaks episode or a very old school David Lynch movie or even like a Mulholland Drive. And it's very David Lynch-esque and it is very well crafted filmmaking. And he does give good, get good performances out of these actors. And a lot of these actors give great performances. Jennifer Lawrence is really great in this film. Uh, Javier Bardem is really good. Michelle Pfeiffer, Damon Gleeson, even uh, small role of Kristen, Kristen Wiig. She's really good in this movie. And yeah, give, they all give great performances. There's good atmosphere, good tension. The ending to this movie is so weird and sick and disgusting and messed up and it might hurt your brain but it kind of is worth it dragging through the first two acts to get to that third act because it just goes insane in the third act and it was pretty enjoyable to watch however this movie is super slow in the first two acts and I really love slow movies actually like a slow pacing doesn't really bother me but for, the, for some reason it bothered me with this one I was really bored in the beginning of this film. I'm like, oh my god, this movie needs to keep going and get, like, get the story going, get the plot moving. And I really wasn't into these characters until the film, you know, reached its uh, end of the second act, beginning of the third act kind of feel. And I, just, I don't know, I just wasn't into this movie for like almost the first half hour and I was really bored and I was like, oh, this movie was like a chore to watch. But when it gets good, it gets really good. And uh, I don't know. Just, I can't, I like slow moving movies. Just I just wasn't into the the first half of this movie, and just I don't know. Just, it it wasn't really getting me getting with me. I just didn't like the 
the characters. I didn't like how it was written and stuff. I didn't like how the beginning was executed and stuff. And I get it was trying to make you very uncomfortable and get involved with these characters and building up to something, but I could care less. But when it finally happens, I was really into it. So yeah, again, it's hard to review this movie without spoiling it, but it is good, but it's not great. Like, again, the third act of the film is really in intense and psychotic and really batshit crazy like most Darren Aronofsky movies, but the first two acts are just really dreadful. They're they're not bad because there's still good performances in it, but it's really boring. It's really dull. It's not very interesting, and yeah, it was, it was a chore to watch. And again, some things happen in this movie I can't talk about. They don't make sense, and they're really dumb, and just, I'm like, oh my god, like, is this movie really doing that, and, yeah, it's just, and, uh, I really wanted something unique, and I got it, but it didn't wow me, it didn't amaze me, like, what, it comes at night, that movie was a hated film, but for some reason that movie just really stuck with me, and I really liked it, I was really into this weird story, I just wasn't into this film, even though, it has a lot of great things in it. Just, I don't know how to explain some of it. Like, even that, as boring as the first two acts is, the, I should appreciate this film, and I kind of do. Just, I don't know. I don't ever want to watch this movie again. I don't ever want to experience this movie again. And it's not like Record for a Dream, when I knew it was a solid, almost masterpiece film. Just, it was just disgusting to watch. This one was really boring, and I was really... I was almost, like, looking at my phone to see what time it was, because I was just wanted this movie to get over with, and just get this movie over with, and I don't know why. Even though I love the performances, and I thought Darren Aronofsky directed the film rather well, it just, it was a chore to watch, and it was really boring. And thank God for the third act, but it gets friggin' insane and crazy, and I really liked that, just... I don't know, drudging through the rest of it, I don't know if it's worth it to get to that third act, and yeah, it just, it's some, some of the topics these people talk about aren't very interesting, and some of the decisions these characters make are just, like, confusing, some moments are just really stupid for me, there is atmosphere in the film, and there is good cinematography, and some pretty good editing, but I don't know, just... I just couldn't personally get into the movie Mother. I know there is a target audience for this movie. I just personally am not that target audience. Again, I love Darren Aronofsky when he does certain films like Pie and The Wrestler and Black Swan, but I don't know. Just, this is not one of his movies that I can get into. It's definitely not a movie I would ever watch again. It's definitely not a movie... I would never put on or buy the Blu-ray, but I could definitely see this movie having an audience, and I could see a lot of people really getting into this film. Can I recommend it? Sure, yes. I think a lot of people will really like this movie. The average moviegoer? No. Definitely not. I think if you hated, like, It Comes at Night and just these weird messed up movies that sometimes have no meaning, but some movies that you really gotta think and stuff, and... And if you really don't like slow-paced films, then definitely avoid this film. And it is a very clever film. Like, it, there is some smart things in this movie. This movie, definitely, you have to watch a second and third time to fully grasp the, grasp the whole thing. I don't really care about watching this movie a second and third time. Once was enough for me. It is good. It's not great. It's not a movie I would recommend for the average moviegoer. But if you're a huge Darren Aronofsky fan, then, yeah, I think you'll like it just fine. It's hard to, it's a hard movie to talk about, it's a hard movie to rate. As a film, I would probably rate it almost like an 8 out of 10 because it's such a well-made film, but as for entertainment value, I'd give it almost like a 5, so I don't know. Just, so yeah, so I don't know how to give this movie a rating, so I'll just, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give the movie Mother, I'll go 6.7 out of 10. So yeah, it seems rather low, I apologize for that. Again, there's an audience for this movie. Just, I just wasn't wasn't that audience. So yeah, take a take a take take this review as you will. Um, if you really got hooked by the trailers and you're a huge Aaron Aronofsky fan, go see the movie for yourself and you might like it. So yeah, check it out, see for yourself. So yeah, that's my review for the movie Mother. So yeah, in the comment section below, please tell me what is your favorite and least favorite Darren Aronofsky movie. My favorite is The Wrestler. Least favorite is. The Fountain, still, yeah, I think it, I don't think that's a great film. I know there's, I get an audience for that movie, just, I'm not that audience. But yeah, what is your favorite and least favorite Darren Aronofsky movie? Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you this video, please like, subscribe to this channel, and join the dark side.